Hello and welcome back. In this lesson, we are going to learn about Blueprint Interface. Blueprint Interface are a powerful tool in Unreal Engine that enable communication and interaction with different blueprints, such as game objects or actors. So let's create a simple Blueprint Interface now. In the Content Drawer, navigate to Main, and here we will create a new folder. And we are going to name it Interfaces. Open the folder. Right click. Navigate to Blueprints. And here we have Blueprint Interface. Click on this one. Let's name it Player underscore Interface. Double click to open it up. This is the Blueprint Interface. We cannot add or remove blueprints here within this graph. I will explain to you how and why in a second. First, let's have a look on the right side here. We can create functions just like in the previous lessons with slightly different way of implementation. We can also add inputs and outputs variable, but at the moment we will cover only the basics because this lesson is intended for beginners. Let's delete the pre-made function and let's create a new one from scratch. Simply select and press delete on your keyboard and we are going to see this empty graph. Click on the add button and select function. Let's name this function kill player. If in case you close this tab for example, like this, in order to reopen it, simply go to the function and double click and you are going to see this graph. So we can create as many functions as we want and each function will have different inputs and outputs. Now let's create another one. But before doing that, pause the video and try to create a new function with a name level up. When you're done, come back to the video to see how we can do this. Okay, so click on the add button over here on the right side and click function. Let's name this function level up. You see over here, it opened up in another tab. So we have tab one, kill player, and tab two, level up. We can close these tabs. And we are back to the empty graph, except we have these two functions now. So double click to one of them and double click to level up. So that way we can switch between these two. So basically what we have here now, it's blueprint interface with a name player interface. And this interface contains two functions, which you can see on the right side. Now let's see how we can implement this interface and how we can use it. Close this window and open up our third person character. If you want, you can select the character and go to the edit, or if you want to find in the content drawer, Go to content, main, and should be here. Double click. I believe this is our first time we are opening up our character blueprint, but don't worry, soon we will start working with our character after this beginners section. So for now, ignore all this code over here. This code is the movement code that was made for us to start with. So leave this for now. Now, how we can implement the interface that we have created? Let's go to class settings. So we are in the third person character. At the moment we are class defaults. That means everything that we're gonna select on the left is going to be on the right side, the details. If you go to class settings, you can see different options here. So we have on the right side interfaces. We can add here one. And let's find the name that we have created. If you don't remember, what was the name? Simply go back to our content drawer. We have folder interfaces. So this is the player interface. So let's go to our third person character and let's type player underscore interface. And we are going to select this one. Now we have implemented the interface and the two functions that is inside of it. 
So these two are going to be in our player character. So let's see how we can use them. Now you see nothing happened, but on the left side, in this interfaces tab, expand this and we have two yellow icons here. If you double click or you can right click and implement event, it's the same, but I use double click. Automatically we have created event. So this is a bit similar than custom event. If you remember, right click custom event. They are similar, but not the same. So let's see what is the difference. This blueprint interface can be called anywhere in any blueprint actor. That's why we are using this blueprint interface instead of casting. For example, we are not going to use cast to third person character. We are going to go through this in the future videos. This blueprint interface can travel through any other actor. That's why it's very effective and it's very modular. So which means we can use this anywhere you want in any blueprint. So let's see what we can do with it. So this event is called event level up. Let's right click and print string. We're gonna write player upgrade. Now, every time when we are going to call this event level up, we're going to print this message, regardless of which blueprint we are in. So let's go to our other blueprint. Go to content, main, actors, and damage player. So when the begin play fires, when the game starts from this actor, let's call this blueprint interface. Let's see how we can do it. So now we are in a damage player actor in this square here. Okay. Let's right click and type get player character. So this is for single player only. It's not for multiplayer. That's why it's player index zero. So you shouldn't touch anything inside. Just leave it as it is. So we are getting our player character in this game which is this one at the moment that we have. Okay, let's go back to damage player actor and the blueprint interface lives in this player character. If you go to class settings, it's in here. So that's why. So from this get player character, we're going to call those two functions that are living in the blueprint interface. Now let's go back just so for a remind reminder content we're going to our interface now just to see what do we have inside we have kill player and level up so we can call these two functions from this damage player actor and why is this working because this player interface we have imported into the our player character so this player interface and it's all functions here. We can have many here functions with input, output, variables, etc. And all of that is going to stay in the player. And when the begin play fires, when the game starts, from this actor, we can call those two functions. So we have kill player and level up. Now from the return value, let's type kill player. You see, player interface, kill player message. So this is a function name and it's message because it's not do going to do anything unless it's called explicitly. So how do we know what's gonna happen with this blueprint now? What is this kill player and how we can see what it's actually doing? Because this function is living into the player character. Let's go to our player character into the event graph. At the moment we have event level up. Now let's see we have on the left side kill player. Double click. This is our second function from that interface 
and we can simply copy this print string and we are going to type kill player since this function is kill player let's say player is dead because when we call this function we're gonna kill the player so every time when you're going to call these functions we're going to fire whatever is coming from here in this case we have only just this print string so remember we are in a third person character we are implementing the interface we are going to program what we want to happen from that interface and we can call that event from anywhere you want at this moment we are in damage player so when the game starts we will now call kill player we should see in the screen player is dead now let's try it out you see in the top left corner we have called that function if you go back to our damage player let's call the delay node So when the game starts, we're going to say that player is dead and after 2 seconds, let's make it 3 seconds, we can either copy and paste this and we can call another function or we can simply call from this node the other function. The function was level up and you're going to see level up message. We can double click on the line here so we can create a reroute node so we can do like this so when the game starts the player is dead after three seconds level up we are going to call now let's see after three seconds player upgrade so this is the node that you want to use instead of casting we should never cast that's why is this course for. I'm going to teach you why you should never use casting. That's why we are going to use blueprint interfaces like this. In the future videos, we're going to explain exactly and into more details what we can do with this. These are very useful and they're not overloading the system, which means it's going to be good for your game performance. Okay, this is going to be it for this video. I will see you in the next one.